as you are getting the thumbnail. A lot of people say that video games are bad for you. They start off with video games, uh, make you dump, like what the fuck, some people say that. Uh, video games make you lazy, fat, uh, video games ruin your life, like uh, you won't find a job, you won't find a girl by staying always inside. Basically, you won't do anything with your life if you play video games. And what I can say to that is complete bullshit, because life isn't great and dark like they try to uh, make it look uh, basically all the accusations of people against video games against uh, as a whole playing some kind of game if it's on the laptop if it's on a playstation or whatever are uh, uh, basically saying that the 1% of people that actually get addicted to video games and don't do anything with their life and this applies to everyone that plays video games basically they try to stop everyone uh, parents start parents try to stop their kids from playing video games at all uh, and everyone and I want to debunk that myth that saying because that isn't the case are the case and I disagree that you can play video games and still be in shape have the girl you want and be successful and basically do everything you're supposed to do while in the same time play video games before I tell you all the pluses of playing video games how video games help me <clears throat> I want to take you a little bit back uh, from very early age, I started playing video games, going to the... Uh, there was a place with a lot of computers where we all played video games together. And I made a lot of friends there. Uh, when I was younger, I used to only play. And I was going outside as well, but majority of my time was playing video games, connecting with my friends in that way. As I grew older, I continued to play and I still to this day haven't stopped playing. I still play League of Legends, I played Batman Arkham Asylum, all the all the parts of Batman, I have played I played TFT, I play Uncharted and all, all kinds of games from all sorts. And eventually I realized basically because I was taught well and that I can keep playing games, just focus on the more important stuff first, finish whatever I had to do and then you can play video games because uh, my parents gave the video games to me as a reward for the good work I have done before, maybe when I was cool, maybe when I studied or I got good grades. I have never studied. I just was naturally good. Naturally, I understand things easily. So I got good grades regardless of never studying and not paying attention. But that doesn't matter. I still got good grades and that's why they let me play as long as I want. I had numerous days where, uh, let's say I haven't gone outside this day but the next day I had too much playing and I went outside I just had my priorities straight I knew how much is good how much is bad how to differentiate the two and let's talk a little bit about the benefits and why I really think that it is stupid to say to you kids or to anyone <clears throat> that video games are super bad for you and that they are going to win your life as you see video games uh, haven't 
made me fat. I won't done anything to me. I'm still super ripped. Uh, I'm an entrepreneur doing everything for my businesses. I'm still working also a normal job. I have a girl, a beautiful one. And also I still play video games. The people that say video games uh, will first uh, make you fat and lazy. Do you see anything in that? You see those apps? Uh, but let me get this straight so nobody's confused. Video games are good for you when they are uh, controlled. Like everything, for example, if it's too much of it, it's bad. I mean, one drink sometimes it's okay, right? Too many drinks every day or uh, once a week or twice a week starts getting bad and bad for you. Uh, even water in too much quantity in your body uh, gets you water poisoning. Too much of everything is bad. Like when you overdo any activity, uh, when you overtake every substance or every emotion eventually it will start getting bad for you so what is the point that i'm making is not don't teach your kids to not play video games and do something else instead let them have their passion let them have their hobby because hobbies are very important that's where you you find yourself uh, teach them how to time manage and priority manage what I mean by that is teach them that video games are okay for you when they're done at the right time and at the right quantity because uh, first teach them the, that there are more important things that need to be done before you get the reward of you playing video games or uh, do things that usually people say that are bad for you. <clears throat> but most importantly video games uh, and teach them how to manage um, their their time and their priorities and not only for the parents for everyone learn to manage your your work your relationships your uh, time going outside breathing air working out staying fit uh, and everything and then reward yourself and to this day i haven't stopped playing video games and it hasn't got a bad effect on me so stop saying to people to your kids to your friends or whatever that video games are bad no the bad thing is overdoing something that is what is bad it is not bad playing video games video games actually have a lot of benefits for example first uh it is critical thinking like for example when it's a intense game uh, they learn to think quickly and uh, they be I have become a very good problem solver and a fast thinker because of video games uh, they also create communities create friends I have uh, so many friends that I have met in the play room or whatever it's called the gaming zone where we were going to play games yeah maybe this isn't the case at this time because people are playing inside their home but regardless they're still making friends uh they're still having fun they're still having a hobby maybe who knows maybe one day they will become a streamer or maybe from that game they will find their passion to create games or maybe they will start they will become a developer they will become a programmer coder uh, so it is not the game that is bad it is the overdoing of any activity that is bad so teach your kids give example or tips to your friends to learn to time man manage not to stop playing and 
by saying that to anyone, first of all, you look very bad in their eyes. And second of all, like something that you know that is not bad for you and that you very much enjoy doing uh, and someone keeps saying to you, this is bad, this is bad for you, this is bad for you, I mean, it's not actually dr drugs or something like that, but when it's a video game and someone keeps saying that it's bad for you, when it's not actually bad for you, the only bad part in it is if you do nothing else, basically. If you only play video games, if you yeah, there is a small percentage of people that actually only play video games and are not professionals in the same time and they don't make any money from that and they only do that, they are fat, they are lazy, they are eating all day. Yeah, these people, maybe it is bad for them, yeah. But otherwise, when it's controlled, it's actually good, in my opinion. And one more thing, it creates their competitive spirit. Yeah, may, maybe you would prefer your kid to play sports to develop their competitive spirit and uh, go of winning something. But I actually created my spirit and my desire to win in every realm of human endeavor that I came across through games. I actually develop a lot of the skills and the critical thinking and a lot of my inner self through video games. I'm not gonna lie. And I enjoy playing video games and I keep enjoying playing video games till I'm 95, 100. All my life I will play video games as long as they exist. Because when it's controlled, it's actually good. So I think this fucking myth is debunked and stop doing that, stop thing. Just teach whoever you want to teach about video games about priorities. That is what my parents taught me and I know what priorities are and I know that video games are, uh, let's say, like us, ice cream. Like when parents tell to their kids, so too much ice cream is bad for you, but one ice cream is very good, it's delicious, right? So, they say, if you're a good boy or, the, or a good girl, you'll get ice cream later, right? So, uh, use the same example for video games. If you do your homework or if you make money for a friend, let's say, if you're giving tip, if you start uh, training your body and, yeah, and do that as a reward, later on you feel much better and so on so hope all of this makes sense and hope you get my point and hope i ho really hope that more and more people will start to learn to time manage and teach time management skills to their kids to their friends or whatever rather than just uh, spitting venom on uh, video games and they are bad and everything like that just uh, first of all you have to be a you have to have a thinking brain so you know what is good and how much of it is good and how much of it is bad for you so hope you enjoyed this video leave a like and subscribe if you do and don't forget the course the well versed well-rounded course is soon coming if you want to more want to know more about it follow my daily content here and i'll soon be announcing it see you in the next video